What's up, Toast Ties? It's your girl, Toast and I'm back with another one looking video for y'all today. Yeah. So what's up? Like, what's up? Like, what's up? It's been a minute. What's up? Like, what's up? Like, I have missed y'all so much. Like, what's up? Comment down below if you have missed me. If you haven't, still comment and say that you haven't because whatever. But before we jump into this video, I would love to thank you guys so much for like continuing to watch me. I'm going to continue to thank you guys because without you guys, I'm going to grow. So I need y'all so I can grow. So we're here for each other, okay? Um, Don't mind my bonnet because my hair is a mess. I'm in the process of figuring out if I want to get a wig or do passion twists. I don't know. Um, But I'm definitely going to mess with one of the two styles. But I just really haven't put my finger on what I wanted to do yet. But whatever I do do, know there is going to be a video coming. Hopefully, I decide to do the pageant twist because I would love to film that for my channel. So, I might just go ahead and do that so that I have some more um, content as far as what my niche is. That's another thing I wanted to come talk to you guys about too. I have finally figured out what I want my niche to be. I want my niche to be about... Like, hair, makeup, feminine, like just like women, like the things we go through, our body changes, things that I've personally experienced, sharing it with y'all, hopefully helping y'all through some stuff. Um, just like different things. Like I just wanted to be pro woman. You know what I'm saying? So like hair care, everything. I'm a bit, I'm soon going to start doing my um individual lashes. Of course I'm gonna definitely film that. I'm gonna be doing a couple of my friends individual lashes. So I'm gonna film that too. So it's gonna be a lot of content coming through for y'all. I just really been working my butt off. I now have two jobs. I'm out here trying to just get up this money so that I can give y'all the content that y'all deserve because you know <laughs> We gotta keep it so, like I said, before I jump to just like, comment, and subscribe. Matter of fact, get on the video right now, go subscribe, smash that like button, and definitely comment below. Let me know what you guys want me to do because I'm definitely in the mood and like just in that motivational pocket in my life right now where it's like, all right, I'm down for whatever. Like, I got a few videos lined up that I'm gonna do, and it's gonna be lit okay so today's video is going to be about it's gonna be one of my first like feminine hygiene videos that's what it's gonna be um this is gonna be a feminine hygiene video so yeah i just wanted to come to you guys and um really just put y'all on to something that i've been using for years now and i wanted to wait to do this review so i could have more time to do more um research and things of that nature so you know it was like one of those things where it's like i didn't want to just get the product and automatically review the product and then not really know much about the product haven't experienced the product myself and then like if someone was to come to ask me a question about the product i wouldn't be able to answer it because you know i just bought it i would be having to tell them like oh i haven't tried it out yet and let me get back to you you know so it's like i didn't want to have that probably i didn't want to seem like a person that was just promoting something that i haven't personally used because you know a lot of people do that these days they would just get a product and they were promoted but they wouldn't actually have history with the product and know that it's actually good for you or know that it will actually benefit you as a person and i didn't want to put that kind of content out because i'm hoping to get more reactions with my supporters so it's like if y'all ask me something i want to be able to answer your questions i don't want to just be able to look at that comment and be like Ugh, i don't know let me go look it up you know so i personally have had the best experience with this product i've actually been using this product for now let me think i was homeless i would say a good three years yep this this is yeah, I would say about a good three years. This is about my third 
this for my third one so about a good solid three years i have been using this product um it is actually by far the best thing that has ever happened to me um i stumbled upon the product on instagram i was i follow um miss wright ashley wright miss wright's way that's her instagram i would definitely i guess link her down below because i'm here so you guys can see who i'm talking about you guys can follow her and go through herself like she really hasn't like i said i've been using this and i got this item from her from years ago so um the content that i recently seen probably may not be the content that she has on her page but i will still definitely give her her props because without her using that i probably wouldn't have seen it now that nowadays i see it everywhere i see like different knockoff brands of it and all stuff like that but at that time this was the one that she recommended and that she was using her personal self um she's an awesome feminist like i just literally love for miss right because she's so natural with everything she does and another motivation that i have had to help me make this video to put it out to everyone so that everyone can see what i mean another motivation that i have put out this video so that everyone can really understand the point of me making this video is because i read an article about um toxic shock from tampons and pads and um the article was heartbreaking because you know we are giving these products as women that's supposed to help us maintain and not everything is good for you of course but um tampons and pads are actually not good for you at all <laughs> i actually did a lot of research after i read that article and basically the article was it was this female that um was using tampons and pads around her menstrual time and she ended up getting toxic shock her family actually found her passed out in her room and didn't know what was wrong with her she went to the doctor i think she was in a coma for a little while I'm not 100 but i don't pretty much remember it fully but i'm pretty sure that that's what the story was she was in a coma and she ended up having to get her legs amputated well her leg or legs i think it's two legs because they think of the golden legs i'm gonna try to find that and also link that down below if i can then it won't be down there but if i can find the article i'm definitely gonna link it down below so you guys can also have further um information off of what i'm saying so y'all can actually see the, the article for yourself but um it's the girl with the golden leg she actually got her had a girl like infinity because of toxic shock toxic shock is something that happens i'm guessing when you wear a tampon or a pad too long and it reacts to your body and it just causes really really bad effects you know like she passed out she lost her legs it was just like one of those things was like you know i tried to put people on around me like my friends and some of my co-workers and stuff but i was really sitting back thinking about that the other day because it was about time for me to get a new one of the products that i'm about to reveal to y'all right now um it was about time for me to get a new one so i was like you know i'm really gonna take the time to actually sit back and have this conversation with my supporters because it is important you know it's it's important to care of our bodies as women and you know and for us as women to help each other prevent each other from repeating putting things in our body that we don't have to you know it's like because if i know something about something and i'm not telling it to anyone else but i'm just keeping it for myself i would feel selfish because it's one of those things where it's like i could have prevented you know somebody else from getting talk to shock if i would have brought them this product more ahead of time so i'm just gonna go ahead and reveal what i'm speaking on because i know you guys are like what the fuck you talking about what you talking about what product what's the product what's the product what's the product what's the product i want to know the product what what are you talking about like what see this is my best friend every month she comes through and yeah this is the product that i have been in love with for three years it's a diva cup it is a minstrel cup, the diva cup. She is my best friend. Let me tell you guys why. I'm just give you guys, I'm gonna read the back and then give you my opinion on it, okay? The diva cup is a economically eco-friendly and leak-free way to experience total period comfort. The diva cup is ultra hygienic, comfortable, 
convenient, wearable for up to 12 hours at a time, 100% medical grade silicone with no latex, dyes, rubber, or plastic, or BPA, reusable, economical, and eco-friendly, a product made in Canada. Okay, say no US product. Not to say the US products are bad, but sometimes they be putting extra stuff in their products. The proof is all right here on the box. The Diva Cup is the best thing ever happened to me because around the time that I started using the Diva Cup, I was homeless and I clearly couldn't afford pads. Now, they are pretty pricey. They range from between uh, about $30, $35 to $40, depending on where you get it from. Mine was about $36 from Walmart, so you can get them from Walmart, CVS, you can order them online. The brand that I use is Diva Cup, but there is, like I say, many different brands out there that have recently surfaced, so I don't know if they are as construction as well. The Diva Cup is the way. Because like I said, around the time that I used it, I was homeless around the time that I started using my Diva Cup. And um, it's like I said, it was about 35 to $40. And I used to have a very, very heavy glow. This is why I recommend this for a lot of people because it regulates you. Like, it has no toxins. I learned that the toxins in pads and tampons is what can cause females to have heavy butt flow. The toxins in pads and tampons is what causes females to have heavy blood flow, outrageous cramps, things like that. And this is all research that I've done and personal experience that I've experienced all my life. I've had seven day periods. I remember at one point in time, I was literally bleeding for like 65 days. My mom took me to the gynecologist and they didn't even get what was going on with me. So they put me on birth control, but then I ended up gaining a lot of weight from it. So I ended up getting off of it. And then that's when this came upon my life, just, you know, popping up wise. And like I said, but it was by far the biggest, one of the biggest blessings I've gotten over a few years because this thing saved me. Like my periods have been cut down tremendously. Um, I went from having like seven day heavy full periods. <laughs> it was time for me to be off to to like having periods that were like light as hell for like two to three days. Like, it would confuse me. Like, okay, is this really it? Is this like my period? Like, that's how good it is. Like, it, it, would, it would blow my mind. And another thing, it is reusable. So what this means is you actually have to only buy one a year. You don't need more than one of these a year. Now, some, I don't know, I would recommend if you got like $100 on you and you see like five there or you see like three there, grab as many as you can so that when it is time for you to re-up, you automatically have it because these things are gone. Like in stores, they sell so quick. Like if you don't get them when they restock, you're not going to get it because that's how important these are like a lot of people buy them in bulk because they get to sell like hotcakes i'm telling y'all these things are one of the best things and like i was saying about as far as period wise goes like it regulated my body like i won't say it completely helped with my cramps i like, got rid of my cramps because you know you still have cramps everybody has cramps but the toxins in pads and maximize cramps by so much more because yes you have cramps but they're not as bad. These, like I said, they last for up to 12 hours. For people that have light flows like me, when I first got it, I'm not gonna lie. When I first had it, I did still have to wear one pad until my body regulated because one, you know, you gotta learn how to put it inside and do all stuff like that. So once you learn the angles that it needs to be at to where it won't leak and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? It's like anything else. You really gotta learn and, and, and your body has to get used to it. But it's definitely a benefit. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna open this bad baby up. Oh, at least some of them will be answered. So this is a little box that I, I opened the box. The first thing that came out is this little box. And inside of this little box is the cute little baggie that it comes with for when you are not on your menstrual period. But it comes in this cute little baggie for your menstrual cup so when you are 
not believing or coming off say like it's your last day but you still don't want to mess up your underwear or anything like that or you don't want to wear a liner because you still have toxins in it you can still wear this all the way up until you're completely done like it does not it's so comfortable you won't even feel it but you can just put it in you keep this in your pocket you keep this in your purse you can keep this anywhere because it's so cute it's so intimate it's so small it's nice so i personally just keep it in my front pocket if I'm about to go off, so I know I got it, and then when I take it out, I'll put it in my nearest locker or purse or wallet, not really wallet, but purse or locker or shit back in my pocket, you know? Here comes this cute little user guide. See that right there? Cute little user guide. I'm gonna go through and see. When you open it, it says, congratulations on choosing to do the cup, the revolutionary menstrual care product. I love it. Like, I can't even sit here and lie to you. All right. <clears throat> I'm just breathing a few of these just so you guys can, like, get a perfect, you know. I mean, my angle so light is crazy right now. But it says, what's inside the Diva Cup box? Inside the Diva Cup box, you will find your Diva Cup, a storage bag, and this user guide. All right. How to use your Diva Cup. Before you use your deep cup, boil for five to 10 minutes before using the deep cup for the first time. Okay? Boil for five to 10 minutes before using the deep cup for the first time. How do I insert the deep cup? I'm gonna take my deep cup actually out the box. This is it, it's very cute, very simple. This is my brand new deep cup I just bought it the other day. Um, just gonna take it out. And I'm gonna just demonstrate the two folds that they have here so you guys will know what the two folds are I'm speaking of. All right, so it says the U fold, press the sides of the cup between your fingers and fold it in half to create a U, simple as that. All right, so you will create it like this. You make a U like that. I don't know if you guys can really see. Oh, there it is. You make a U like that, and then you will try to insert it. And then the second one is a push down fold. With your index finger on the top rim of the cup, push down, push the rim down into the corner of the cup, base crease a triangle. Once you have mastered the fold, you can insert it inside. This is what it looks like on the picture. I don't know that. I personally use the U fold because it works for me, but that was the second fold. <laughs> All right, so. Um, I can read the inserting because I mean like why would I not read the insertion? you know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to show you the diagram of the menstrual cup while it is inside of you. There it is. That's the menstrual cup inside of you. These are, so you put it up there. It's the diagram of the menstrual cup inside of you. And once it is inside of you, you have to grip the bottom and rotate in a 360 position in order to get that perfect suction so that it doesn't come out. Now what I do is once it's in there, I just like gently tug to lock that suction so that I know that it is firm inside of me. I don't have no issues, nothing like that. <clears throat> so, yeah, that is basically what you would do with a Diva Cup. I'm gonna actually put this back up because it ain't time for me to use it yet. But I definitely did want to come and show you guys that and put that knowledge in your minds so that you know that there are options out here, ladies. You don't have to use tampons or pads or any of these harmful ass things that is being put into this world for our vaginas. Like, no, there's things out there that are made for our comfort, our best interest as far as our menstruals go. All right, so generally, um, generally females bleed about what? What's this? Seven point five milliliters, right? Or like one fourth ounce of blood. That's the like least amount of female bleed. But in here, it has 15 milliliters and 7.5 milliliters. Like, you would be surprised. You think you bleed so much, 
but you really don't. Like, this little cup will catch all of the blood. Like, and you, mo most of the time, a female wouldn't even really feel this cup. That's what makes it so crazy because you would think, oh, it's so small. I'm not to be bleeding all over the place. Like, no, we don't really even bleed that much. It's just the toxins in the products that we use for our time of the month that produce mass, you know, mass blood out of us. So I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm putting y'all on because like I said, I wish I had someone that told me about this, but that's what social media is for. And I was following the feminists and she just really put me on to game. And the years later, here I am. I'm gonna try to get me a diva cup every time I can. Like I just, just, just finished using my other one. Now, here I am. Third diva cup in the game. And I'm excited to use her because I know that she is lit. Like I know, I know. My life is at work. So, go get y'all your diva cups. I'm actually going to look at my Amazon and put a link down below for y'all. Those of y'all that don't have Walmarts in your cities or CVSs or Walgreens. You know, I don't know. Some stores aren't in different places. There are different places for everywhere. So, I don't know. So, I'm just going to go ahead and link it down below for Amazon. That way, Amazon's everybody's internet. So, you can just get it. Duh. Ah. Uh, I feel so good that I have shared this information with y'all because it's like one of those things where it's like I really wanted to tell somebody and put somebody on and it's like why not just use my platform to put somebody on okay okay <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much to the chats for always being here for the girl. Ah, ah. I love you too. So I thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Also follow me on Instagram at the Toge. Again, that is T H E dot T O J. I do follow back and it will be down below in the description. You know. Oh dab, oh dab, oh dab, oh period. <laughs> I, I feel good. Like, hopefully this video will shine some light on a lot of the females that watch me. And th those of you that do have menstrual cups, comment down below. Let me know your experience. Um, is it the same as mine? Has it been a lifesaver? Has it been a negative experience? Like, let me know because I've only heard of positive experiences with the menstrual cup, but there's a lot of different people out here in the world that could have possibly had negative experiences. So I would love to know if you guys have had experienced anything different than what I have experienced with the menstrual cup. Please comment down below and let me know that if you guys did. If you never used it, if you have any questions, comment down below and me or someone else who has used it will be more than happy to answer those questions for you. And um Yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, like I said, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, you already know what it is. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.